<laughs> right, right. Um, hello, everybody. hello, everybody. I think we're I think live. We're live. <laughs> um, are, we, are, we, are we live? Yeah, I think, yeah, we're, I think live. we're live. You can, you can, you can you tell, can tell we've what we've this, done this uh, quite often. Quite often. <laughs> there's, there's, there's 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 but welcome everybody to, to uh, one um, of the potentially uh, uh, last ever uh, episodes, uh, episodes of Welsh Chat. Chat. Um, um, I mean, I, I mean, say, I say this, this, Alex. Alex it's, it's probably, probably not, not going to going be, the, be the, last the last ever, ever is, it? is it? Well, probably not. It's probably, probably going to be the last one for a while, for sure. I'm sure at some point we might reconvene. But we, but do, we have do have to take a bit of an extended break due to, 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 to different, different reasons, which, which we'll come on to uh, later, later on uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the show. Is that the right, right description of what this is? Mm, I think it would be a really poor show. show. I'm not, not sure, sure what it's called. Podcast? Yeah, yeah um, I, don't, I, don't I don't think we can really call ourselves a show, can we? That would be a bit, a bit extreme. Um, Hello, Hello, everybody in the chat. chat. We can see the chat this week. Sorry, question. How do I see the chat? Um, how do you see the chat? The chats? Um, um, am I finishing because of the echo? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> um, I, think I think the best way for you to do it is if you just watch it on Twitch, Twitch but keep it muted. Uh, gives us an extra viewer, I guess, doesn't it? Gives, gives an, an extra viewer, viewer yeah, which is a great thing. thing. Uh, no, uh, no, I'm, I'm sure, sure I could probably fix out how to... How to um, how to, how to sort out the the accurate if I could do, but seeing it's the last one, I can't be bothered. Um, I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, thing that I need to, to click on, uh, which would uh, sort it all out. Uh, hello, Gary. Um, my site not my trajectory as well. Our regular names that we see in the chat too. Great to see you all. Um, obviously, did you did you all, did you all watch the Olympia? Did you all see watch the games? Did you enjoy? Seeing how we played and, and what was going on, um, because I guess we could. We could um, I kind of had to stop doing some of the videos there. there. I, got I got a little. I got a bit of a cold down. And, uh, wasn't too well, so just uh, needed some extra time. Uh, so I had to stop doing them. Yeah, there was quite a. Yeah, the women's section did quite good as well. A bit of a roller coaster in most of the games actually. Um, Oh wow. oh wow! Okay, okay. <laughs> there's uh, uh, yeah a lot of things going on. Going on. Um, okay, well, okay, well let's first of, first of all start the show, Alex, as we normally do, uh, which, which is just by having a look at the calendar and ratings. We might, we might as well at least the purpose, the purpose of this show is to, to sorry, show, show is it a show? I don't know. Uh, is, uh, is, to is to basically, basically spread, spread the news about Welsh chess and make sure that people know of the events and what what's going on, where people are playing, so that people can. Um, um, oh, they, oh, they say that the echo is because you're not wearing headphones, Alex. Right. Well I mean, I'm I mean, I'm quite happy to blame Alex, to be honest. I mean, I mean, you do this with your hands, right? I mean, does that mean that you've like sorted it or something? I mean, is the echo still there? I don't, know. I don't know. I can't hear it. Well, the chat will need to let us know. Is, is, is the echo still, still there? Is, 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 is it when I talk, talk? Is it? Is that when the echo could hear? Yes, yes, it oh, is. Oh, then it's not my fault. That's fine. fine. It, only it only comes on, on when Alex unmutes. Yes. yes. So Alex, so Alex just mute sound. your sound. Mutes his mic. Now he's now he's, he's muted now. So is it still echoing now? Yes, it, yes, it is. Right. right. Well, it's not Alex, then, is it? I mean, it was never really going to be me, was it? No, it was always going to be me. Um, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah the, 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 I think the problem is, is that I, I do have two screens on, and um, I think that it's... Uh, I wish I, I wish I, I, I wish I had a actual microphone, microphone I could plug in just so I know exactly where my microphone's coming to. Um, because, I've because I've got everything else muted. Uh, if you unplug the second screen, screen, how disruptive is that? 
Let me just try a couple of things then. Um, I will probably have to load up the Twitch. I just want to be able to read the chat, you see. Um, so if I load up Twitch on my phone first. <laughs> we'll finally sort out how to stream properly. <laughs> Just as we're finishing. This chaos, right? The old men just trying to. Uh... Well, I'm an old man. I mean. Oh yeah. I'll look at the second screen. Meanwhile, I'm watching myself on Twitch, and it's really weird because there's like a lag, so I can see myself moving. I'll do the hand gesture on Twitch about five seconds later. It's quite disconcerting. Right. right. Is is the echo gone? gone? Is, the is the echo gone? gone? Hello, Jonathan to chat. No, same echo. So, so I, could I could use two screens, screens couldn't I? Really? really? That's, what, That's you what you're telling me. Uh, All right. <laughs> I, I don't know why it, why it is though, right? Because um, also got his OBS open, and I've got this. Um, Got that, got that OBS ninja, ninja thing open as well. As well. Um, um, anyway, anyways, let's let's, let's carry on. on. Okay, okay, so what I did was, was... I, know what I know what it is. Let me set your second screen back in. Know what it was, so I muted so this. So, can you hear me now? Still, can you hear me in chat? And Alex, can you hear me? Alex can't hear nothing. Audible, yes, they can hear me. Alex, you can't hear me. No, no I, I can't hear you. I don't know anyone else can. Yeah, so, yeah, I, know so I know what it is. So, yeah, so, yeah I've, I've got two things, things basically. I've got OBS, OBS uh, Ninja, uh, um, which is where we can hear each other. But then, but then I've also got, got um, I must have a, um, a, volume a volume coming through, through um, OBS, OBS as well. As well. I, can't I can't do it without you not, not hearing, hearing me. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't know how to turn this one off. Um, Oh, let's, let's just, carry, just on carry on like this because we, we, can't, we can't do very much about it, about it I'm afraid, uh, uh, at the moment because uh, uh, it's, it's, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be working, working otherwise. otherwise. Um, so we'll just, so we'll just have to carry on. on. Um, okay, okay, right. right. What's, what's been going on, on in Welsh chess? chess? Um, Alex, Alex, is there anything going, going on in Welsh chess, chess, chess that we haven't talked about apart from us playing in the Olympiad? There was that tournament they held when the Olympiad was on for some reason. All right. What happened? Um, some people played. I can't even remember who won. Um, so again, yeah. have you got a chance to tell us there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you want to go on to the whale section? I did, I did. Oh, oh it's, it's all right. It's all right. You've got so many screens open, it's so annoying. There we go. There we go. Ranking, Ranking cross table, table after round five. five. So we so had 40, 40 entrants. 40, 40 entrants isn't bad, really. No, it's not terrible. Probably uh, dedicate for themselves. Uh, so, yeah, so this way it doesn't work, work right? right? I remember seeing this. this. Round five doesn't have all the results, results in. in. So, so this, this isn't the final ranking. Oh. Because you said as well correctly that it's a bit cut off on the end and they're absolutely spot on. Uh, oh, yeah. We can't see any of the adverts, do we? There we go. Um, let, me let me just actually move it a bit more. So that's not right. No, no, that's better. We can see the names now. That's, that's not, not great. It says the rank, rank up to round five, five in brackets, three results missing, which, which include Tom Brown, who's at the top. top. And I don't know who else. 
So, so that, that would really give that other insight. insight. So, so Chris Beaumont beat Tom Brown in the last round to go to four and a half points and it looks like he won it and Tom Brown was joint second with James Tapp who drew his last round game and for and Luke Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I believe, I believe so. So, so we'll be two, two seconds, seconds behind three, three seconds behind the winner. Yep. yep. Um, and we had, and we had a, a, a a few of random people there, there like uh, uh, Jukesy, Ethan Rathbone Jones, uh, uh, Bentz, Paul Hatchett Yaroslav, uh, Josh uh, Dale, Dale Westcott, Westcott Ethan, Ethan McGrath. All, all of these, these people, people, Josh McKenna down on two, got beat Jack in the last round too. I see you had all some familiar, familiar names as well. As well. I, mean, I mean, Ethan would, would, probably, would probably be eyeing up the Olympiad in the future. Who did he lose to? Foster Jukesy. No. Congrats, Jukesy. So, it's not, not a guy you're going to be playing. So, Jukesy, as we're talking about. For the, for the half doubt. For this 1895 rating. <laughs> yeah, Jukesy's yeah, dangerous. He, he's only below 1900. How was that? I, 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 I don't, don't know, to be honest, because he, he always he got a good record against Tim, Tim as well. He just always seems to have good results against people. Why was Joe Fatala not paired with three points? Rating right, performance 2607. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he withdrew on three out of three. Interesting. <laughs> I assume he was busy on Sunday. Or... Must, must have been. been. Uh, but I mean, come on, that probably. He could go around and say that this is the highest performance by a Welsh chess player in the tournament ever, ever or something like that. <laughs> Let's not do my ideas. <laughs> go, on, <laughs> go, on, go on, Joe. Go on, Joe. Um, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. and um, Gromwan Tucson also, also in mentioned in the chat, three, three points, points um, as well. As well. Good, good results, good results cause because I know that she was playing in the minor in Newport. And then, and then like, like literally, literally a month later or two months later, like, a month later, playing in the, the open section. section. But did they have a separate section here as well or not? So this, so this was the open, open so they must have had a, a lower section too. too. So good They're good to see us stepping up and, and putting the effort in. But yeah, okay, well done, Chris Bowman, but great to see all the, the, the million names there playing as well. Um, if, we if we go back, back I'm, guessing I'm guessing we'll see the, the lower section, the, the major. And so how many entrants? Only 20 entrants. And this is the problem that we have in Welsh chess, is that this section should be better entered than the open section, shouldn't it? Uh, what was it, under 1,600? Yeah. Like, yes. I, guess, I, think I think a lot of people in that other section, section will probably be under 1,600, right? So it's, it's good they're stepping up when they could have made this. this. But I, I feel like, like the reason, reason they stopped doing my sections, sections originally is because you're getting six, seven, seven eight, eight people in them. them. So I feel yeah. like 20 is decent, right? Yeah, yeah I, I just feel like... like um, this, this section should, should be should have, should have there, there should be, be more, more of a, a 1200 1300 1400 group of players that are going around playing, playing in these events and, and it, it feels like we just, we just don't have those those, those players that, that would normally say let's like, play in the, the equivalent england events which would, which would fill up the tournaments even more, even more uh, and, and give you more, more entry fees um then, yeah, then, yeah maybe the boost actually the rating, the rating boost actually, actually maybe messed that up to be honest to be fair um so maybe that's why uh but these can't be video ratings can they no you can't go below 1400 now um, okay. so i don't know if maybe it wasn't video ratings so they're probably all national ratings okay all right so is this correct up to about five rounds i mean like it so, so joints between, between uh, Daniel, Daniel George Naveen, Lucas Zeng, Marcel Vest, Vest and David Volochkin. I know Lucas and David are at least juniors. juniors. Mm -hmm. so those, those four players. Um, and and so, so Adam Sawa half behind point behind as well, as well uh, too. But uh, uh, good to see them playing. But they must, they must be looking at this tournament and thinking, well, why did I bother entering this? Why didn't I just get into the Open, right? It is weird because I think when this is just used to be one section, they played it anyway. So it's not like they're scared of playing these people. They've had some good games before. So 
I'd like, like to see them be a bit more ready, to be honest. Just, just go, go in the open. open. Go in the open, just play, yeah. Play, yeah. Um, okay, okay, right. right. So, so the Welsh Union website, website has got a, a little bit of an update. Um, so, we've so we've got, got a... a that's, that's this October, October the 1st. That's coming up, right? Yes. Far off. Far off. That, is that is literally... Hang on. Hang on. Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tuesday, so it's night. Tuesday night. Yeah. Do you know much about this? Do you want to tell us a bit about it? No, I just read what's on the screen at my own convenience. It looks like it's a Team Blitz tournament at North Cardiff Chess Club. So I assume it'll be predominantly for North Cardiff players, but it seems like it's a, an open invite for anyone who wants to go. And three, I think, is quite an easy number to get to put a team together. So, yeah, I think um, I was considering trying to get Mr. Kojusek to, to come and play with me in a team, just to, just to be annoying, but don't think I'll, don't think I'll bother. Um, <laughs> I think it's, it's nice, nice event to have on sort of this time of year. I think, I it's, think really it's really good that they made, made it an open, open invite to, to other clubs, clubs to come in um, and really fill up that, that their venue with whatever. whatever. I think this is a fantastic initiative, and uh, if, if other clubs kind of do the same thing with their, with their events, events, then, then, then you're going to get more people coming from the local chess scene in, and I think, I think that, that, that can only be beneficial. beneficial. Um, for... <laughs> it would be funny if one team brought in the GM. Um yeah that, yeah, that would be quite good. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, no, I think it's great. Uh, I, I, I think um, we tried to do it around here up in the North Staffordshire League, where we, we kind of had like a, 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 um, a pairs rapid play event that, that one of my clubs used to hold. And then another, another club used to run a, a Wednesday tournament, which was like uh, three Wednesdays in a row, where you played like a, a half an hour, two half hour matches. And each, and each club, club tried to do something, to do something um, that, was that was just a little bit different to normal chess, shall we say, but their own, their own spin on it, and it just provided quite a few events, events although it has died off now a little bit. But uh, I quite like it that they're having an open invite. But I think really the biggest thing coming up, Alex, is um, are you going to be playing in the, the Open Blitz qual uh, Championship qualifier? Mm. I'm now very seriously considering playing the Cardiff one. Right. So, so mostly so because they've recently moved the date of the final. It was originally supposed to be end of November. And it's now mid-November. So if I hypothetically qualified, I can actually play. Um, but I'm actually playing the qualifier in Bristol on Saturday. How oh, are you? Um, so when I when scroll, I scroll down, down here and, and click on the entrance, entrance I'll, I'll be able to find your name. name. Uh, uh, I but I guess the, the point is, is if you qualify for the final, final then you get... get a hundred pounds anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Which I mean I think it's a long shot. But... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean you, might you might as well give it a go, go right? I mean obviously, obviously Dan, Dan and Jose made it last time. Um and, and Emma Kong as well in the women's section, which is great. Um so it's good to good have, have some Welsh Welsh names there. in there. And not, and not let people, people come over from England into our Welsh tournament and just qualify automatically. We need to punish that everybody. We need, we need to really, really think, you know, if you're going to be focused on any game, focus on on those those English qualifiers that come over to the Welsh one, just to uh, uh, just to try and get through. We need to we need to punish that uh, completely. But please enter. I think that'd be great. Um, there was one that was close to me at the right time, and I'd consider entering, but um, I'm away, uh, I'm afraid. Um, so, so um, okay, I mean, that's coming up there, and have we, have we missed anything else? else? Obviously, we've got the Olympiad to, to talk about, too, just to, to kind of recap what happened in the latter rounds there, because uh, I know that most of you are probably following my videos or following the games anyway, uh, which is great. Uh, we've got some other tournaments coming up, the uh, League One, uh, Welsh Premier League League coming up in, in the 13th, uh, November uh, junior, junior championships, championships and, and oh the, the AGM, AGM is booked in. Everybody, woo! Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and then the West, West Wales Congress, fifteenth to the seventeenth as well, uh, uh, which is great. And, and then the Junior Quadrangular, which classes with my Staffordshire Junior Championships on the first of December, and so on. But okay, let's. We won't look at the ratings too much because. We've, We've still, got still got quite a lot of games to go on. To go on. Uh, when I looked at it before, I had some Olympiad games on, some not. Um, so you might have been following us at the Olympiad, you might not have been. 
um, but, just but just so you can, you can see, see just generally, generally how we went on. on. How would you describe how we went on, on actually? Yeah, what would be, uh, how, would how would you describe it without going through it game by game? game? I'd say for the most part, we performed as expected. I think, you know, 10 of our 11 matches, the highest seeded team won. And then we just had the one draw that wasn't there. But what I'd say at the same time is I think our finishing position doesn't really do us justice at the same time. I think we, we weren't spectacular, but we put in solid performances. And yeah, if you just look at where we finished in the end, you'd think, wow, these guys were, were terrible. So I think that, so it's a shame to finish, I think, low down, but overall it was it was fine, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, well, okay, we'll look at individual results, results at the end, end um, but, just but just to take you through how, how we did. We beat um, Djibouti in round one, one three and a half, half, lost to Moldova, Moldova by the same scoreline. Score Although, Although that was looking a lot closer, closer. they obviously, they obviously massively, massively outrated us. us. Then, we then we beat Mozambique 3-1, lost to Switzerland 4-0. <laughs> so we, we, we really did yo-yo throughout this tournament. Um, and then we drew with Botswana 2-2, which is probably the, the only blemish on our, our record, I should, I should imagine. Um, Alex, is that the match that you're referring to? Yeah, I think it's the one that didn't go to seeding. And it, it's one of those, well, when you look at the ratings, you say, wow, like we should have done much better. But I think when you were there in the room, you'd say, actually, we did well to draw that match. Yeah, yeah I think it's difficult to kind of like assess, assess what, what these ratings mean, mean as well. well. Um, I, mean, we I mean, we played some, some, other, some other countries, countries as well a bit further down, down where, where clearly, there. I mean, for example, here, here You'd, you'd never, never find Dan losing to a 1900 uh, or something below 2000 or even below 2100 on a regular basis um, at, at all. It's like such a shock result, but the ratings are just so unreliable. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, but when we bounced back from that, that draw to, to beat Luxembourg 3-1, which was really quite... I mean, they were quite good, actually, weren't they? Luxembourg. I'd say it's probably, the, on paper, the closest match we had seedings-wise. Because, you know... We outrated them just, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we did well in that match to, to get through. You know, I think when, you know, Jose's having to beat 2400 with black to get the job done, then done pretty well. Yeah, yeah that, that was a, a, that was a, was a good match. match. I remember that one. Um, and then, and then we lost to Singapore 3 1, which was a bit of a disappointment from, from, from my point of view, but, but um, individually, but um, they did uh, outrate us and were significantly younger than us as well. Um, but then, but then we had, we had uh, what was effectively our first 4-0 win for, win for how many years? years? We beat Ethiopia 4-0? How many years? 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. How, how have we not won a match 4-0 for like 12, 12 years? years? How was that? Don't make, don't make me say names, John. Don't make oh. me say names. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, that was good. We, we, we got over the line there. And it, it didn't look like it was going to be 4-0, did it, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know, <laughs> we take, I do take love an end game, don't I? <laughs> you, you do love, love an end game, you do. You do. <laughs> um, then we, then we, we lost, lost to Mexico, Mexico who again outrated us three and a half, half, half. Um, and, then and then we just about got over the line against Malaysia, Malaysia who again, again un, un, must, 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 must be massively underrated. underrated. They were gaining a lot of rating in their players. So that was actually, I was actually really pleased with our win over Malaysia, you know. Two and, two and a half, one and a half. I thought actually, actually that was just to just beat, beat that team because they, they were performing much higher than their ratings. Most, most of them were and gaining, gaining a lot of rating. They were they were dangerous, dangerous team. Um, they but, were. And what someone pointed out to me as well is that in that match, the shortest game was Dan's, and it was eighty-four moves. Yeah. yeah wow. wow. Um, which I, I think I didn't realize at the time because you finished a bit quicker. Obviously, your game was the longest, but yeah, there were four epic ones, really. Yeah, yeah that, that was one of the, one of the I think, the best kind of, kind of times, times when we were still sat there, there for a few hours, hours. All, all of us trying, trying to grind away end games. Where, 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 where I think, I think most, most of us were slightly better. better. I don't know if Jose was ever slightly better. Maybe, Maybe he was. But I think he was certainly pushing, even if he wasn't better, though, right? Yeah. And it's, and it's like, like all, all of us were trying to push. To push. We're, we're all still there, there trying to eat blood out of stone and, and in order to win the match. And, and um, yeah, yeah, I, I think, think and, even, even though I was the first to finish on time, on time I went to 99, 99 moves. moves. Um, didn't, didn't make it to 100. 100. I don't know why I didn't just get to 100 for the sake of it. And then, yeah, wow, that that was a real proper match play. But I think the problem with winning in round 10, Alex, is that at that point, we were, I think we were, at the, at the end, end of round, round 10, 
think, I think we were, we're 71st, 71st or something, or something like, that. like that. Yeah, we were we were fairly fairly high up, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and when you, when you looked at the, at the um, after, after round, round 10, 10, when you looked so at where we were, we were actually a match point ahead of Ireland, a match point ahead of Scotland. Scotland. We, had we had a board category, category prize. prize. Sorry, sorry not a board, no, a category, category prize, prize for the team. team. And we were in the bronze medal position. If the tournament had finished after round 10, we'd have beaten Ireland and Scotland and we would have come away with bronze medals. Is that right? Correct, yeah. Um, so we, so we, we just timed, timed it wrong, wrong I'm afraid, everybody, everybody which, which meant that we then got paired with Peru in the, in the last, last round, who had a 2,600 on board one, <laughs> um, <laughs> and then a significant strength and depth on two, three, and four, and um, we just never really got going in that in, in that match, did we? I don't think. No, I think it was one of those where we were probably always going to play a higher rated team, but probably of all the people we could have played, this is about as bad as it could have got. And they also then rested their worst player for the match as well, just to, just yeah, to make yeah. sure they gave us a drubbing. So, yeah, I think, it, you know, whenever you go to the, the last match is always the one you kind of remember and it impacts your final position a lot. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of unfair to look at it and say, well, our Olympiad was underwhelming because we lost to a team with a 2,600 on one, right? So... Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those, one of those things where it's almost like if we'd have drawn against, against Malaysia, Malaysia, we would have had easier opposition than we could have, could have potentially won and, and finished higher. higher. But you're never, you're never going to take a draw when you, if you can win, win a, a match. It just feels a bit wrong, right? right? Um, so, so, okay, that, that, was, that the was the story of our tournament, tournament and um, kind, of kind of a bit of up and down. Um, and and uh, uh, let's just uh, click on the like ranking, ranking list after round 11 just to see because I know that we finished significantly, significantly round. If you haven't seen already and you haven't seen the news, that India won it with basically a round to spare. Um, destroyed the field. So Gukesh is, is going to be amazing. Uh, Gukesh or Erigazi is probably the biggest question at the moment, I should imagine. Ah, Gukesh. Gukesh, okay. Um, so our seeding was 78 for the tournament. Well, because, well, because we, we lost in the last, in the last round, round uh, we, we finished 94th. 94th. Um, although, although on match points, points um, we're, we're actually joint. joint... Where, 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 are, where we are we joint? Um, don't know. We can't see it. We can. We can. Because five wins. Five oh, well, you can now scroll down. Before it was just all 11s. Yeah, you're fine. Is that, is that 11 matches, is it? Is it? Oh, there, oh, there we, we go. go. Yeah, so joint 80 seconds, seconds um, is, is technically where we are um, if you don't take game points and things into consideration. Uh, and we, our, our seed was 78. So we've not finished that significantly lower down than, than where we were seeded. And considering that we ha we lost, got through in the last round, it wasn't overall that bad. Um, from an individual point of view, um, I think that we agree that... Um, Greg and, Greg and Daniel, Daniel had, had tough tournaments. tournaments. Um, Daniel, Daniel came back strong, strong uh, in the end, and, and Greg, Greg got some wins on the board too to recover, to recover some damage. damage. Uh, yes, yes, I've seen, seen in the chat, chat uh, that I'm not a 2200 mug anymore. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the way I am until October, right? right? Until, until October comes around, then, then, then I am still. Um, but fair enough, yeah, so I'll drop below 2200. Um, um, Jose only lost, lost a few points, points but I was playing some tough players. But Alex, you were the star of the show. <laughs> what, was what was that? that? Oh, I'll take it, mate. I'll take it. <laughs> Gaining 11, 11 points, star, star of the show. show. Um, and actually, actually, Alex, do you want to tell, tell people about how close you, you were in your tournament? tournament. Um, namely, up to around this point here. Yeah, so um, I started with five out of six. And I think at that point, it became clear I needed one out of three for to get the FM title. Um, the first of the three was wide against a sort of 2,400 player. I'm a bit disappointed to, to lose it so quickly because I had a nice position out of the opening, but kind of you, you expect that's going to happen. And I thought, okay, tomorrow will be the day. We'll play in a much lower rated team. We'll have them. We've got Malaysia, which is probably one of the worst pairings we could have had. Some of them would have just had completely free wins on, on board four. And I basically was beating the dude the whole game, right? And just couldn't couldn't convert. And 
was, it, let's face it, very close to losing the game at the end as well and completely blowing the match. I mean, it was, um, yeah, pretty, pretty crazy game and I think quite a painful one. And I think I said to you that evening that it's probably going to haunt me for quite a long time to come. Yeah, because yeah, you, you got into like a position like like, like, like something like this, let's say, where, where you're. Yeah. yeah, it's just the sort of the sort of position that usually I just win them. It's, it's, it's difficult, though, isn't it? It's a bishop and pawn for a rook, and the problem, the problem is if you stop off all of the queenside pawns, bishop, bishop and two versus rook and two actually is sometimes. I think that's actually technically a draw, you know. Mm, I think I'd wait though. I had it same end game at Southwest International against Duncan McDonald. Yeah. Let me just right. move it over for people. You're you're absolutely right. It's a little bit. Um, make it a bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right now. Um, yeah. No, it's. This, this is a, a, a where, did where did you go into the angle? Because I didn't actually see how you went into it. So here you are. Um, I don't know. D4. Did you have to play D4? Well, you know, you have to play D4 or E4, right? If I play E4, he plunks a knight on D4, which I can never get rid of. So yeah, you can't do that, can you? So I mean, I think D4. I think D4 is the way to go. To be honest, I think it's all completely fine. Yeah, he's got a ton of weaknesses. Oh, I, oh, I see, see you let him take your bishop on c6. Mm -hmm. Do you have, do you have to, to do that? No, but I mean... Is it still one you know, now? Have you have you analysed this afterwards? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's even one in the end position. I mean, it's always winning. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, this is fine because I'm always going to pick up his eight pawn, right? And then it should be, it should be kind of fine. Um, like this is all, this is all good technique. And yeah. around this point, there's some point coming up where I make the first kind of. Oh, king d7. So if you go back a couple of moves, um, it's the point where I sort of, yeah, first let him go bishop c5 and. Disrupt my defense. Oh, I oh, see. see. So, he so he gets the rook, rook to the seventh rank, rank here. here. Yeah, because obviously after bishop c5, my rook can't stay because I've blocked his rook on the seven. So I'm still fine. Like, I don't lose my g pawn, but I've just started to lose control of the position a bit. I remember, I remember watching this from a from afar, and it was somewhere, somewhere not here, here like, like a bit later on, on like when your king's into f3. F3. Well, I, was I was like, Alex, like, please, please just take the draw. Don't let us lose draw this match. Dan's winning. Please, Please just, just take the draw, the draw but you're, you're, when you're, when you're, it's still, still one for you here, right? Yeah, at this point it's one. I don't think there's any risk. I don't think I can ever lose this position. Um, but the risk comes because I get my king kind of trapped, right? Because I go so deep into this position. <laughs> and, and who, who claimed the draw, the draw in this game? In this game? Because, <laughs> uh, well, we repeated loads. In the end, I offered it, but I didn't claim it because I didn't want him to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there's a wait. There's a really cool point. So if you go back a couple of moves, just um, to show. Yeah, or this or... yeah, go back to where he does like a bishop check at some point. When he moves his bishop last time. Yeah. So, so after I go rook g two. King king g two. No, nope. so you need to go forward again, and then at some point I go rook g two, and then you stop there. Here, yeah. here. Yeah. Well, there's a bit of a lag, right? Yeah. So after rook g two, um, this is the point where I was kind of sitting there, and I thought I could potentially be like one move away from getting it done, right? Because my threat is to go rook h five check, g six h five, g five check, mate. Oh, nice. And I was there thinking, oh. I this is this is on. This is going to be insanely cool. But he, I'm going to give him credit and say he saw it and he didn't just randomly move his bishop to stop it. But yeah, that was that was kind of a sad moment. Oh, and then this yeah. is the point where I move, and then he goes rook f3, and I was like, uh oh, now I'm in trouble. Oh, oh now, and now you're, you're cut off completely. completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I thought, thought you could lose this from trying too hard to win, especially now the pawn's gone. gone. Um. um 
Yeah. But, I mean, I, I was so, so worried for you here, here. and then <laughs> you, basically <laughs> you basically move the like, like you repeat the position, position so many times, times. But, but neither of you wants to claim the draw. It's like you repeat it about a million times. times. <laughs> Why does this repeat repetition <laughs> start here, here? Right, right. right. This, this isn't just one repetition. repetition. This is this like, like about a million, million repetitions. repetitions. Right. So there's two. And there's, and there's three. three. But you, but you, you, were, were, you were basically the similar, similar position back, back here, right? With the same, same kind of thing, thing going, going on. on. Where was it back, back here? At some point, I moved my rook to d7, though. So it's a different position. It is, it is a different position, position, to be fair. But look, you're just doing the same thing, right? Yeah, because I wanted my 30 seconds to try and think. Because, like, as Sam says in the chat, like, King g3 is winning in the end position. And it's what I really, really wanted to play. But I was like, I can't justify playing King g3 because I thought some check like g6 and stuff that's how to lose like yeah. if i was playing for myself i'd 100 percent play king g3 in the end position but i think like when you're when you're there you have to play for the team right even if you're... It, it, it was, it was quite, quite it's quite an interesting, interesting thing, thing that, that, maybe that maybe people, people didn't, didn't see that, that too much because, because here, here in this case you would have played king g3 if, you'd, if you'd, you'd have been playing, been playing in the, just, just yourself, for yourself but oh it, without thought instantly yeah. But, but, but the team needed you just to hold because Dan was winning, Jose and me, I'd already drawn, Jose might have already drawn by that point. Uh, but that did benefit you in another game though, right? Uh, yes, yeah. It, it all balances out, right? Because the, the Luxembourg game, where my opponent took risks to try and win, when he basically had no right to try and win. It was just... The most obvious thing ever that he was going to lose that game. Yeah. yeah. I sat there. And I remember I sat there repeating moves, hoping he wouldn't take a repetition. And then. <laughs> and, and, and what Sam says is is true as well. I could have tactically lost that game against Malaysia to get an easier pairing in the last round. And I'm sure there are some people who, who would have done that um, for individual glory. But I, I think. You know, I, I love playing for my country, so that's that's always going to be my priority. Yeah, well, yeah, well done. done. And it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, there's, no, there's no no point cheating your way to something. Try, try and get there, there on, on true, true merits. Um, but yeah, but yeah no. Uh, um, and yeah, yeah, yeah unlucky, Alex. Alex I was rooting for you to get the FM title, title but just just, just half a point shy uh, in the end. And obviously, playing an IM that's rated twenty three ninety nine in the last round, it's going to be pretty tough, right? Um, yeah, and it was pretty horrible as well. Like, <laughs> it was always an uphill battle, but you know, you always think, well, I'll go into these guys with white, but I just never got going. It was a dreadful last round. I think the only thing that made it somewhat better is the fact that it wasn't a close match and we all got battered anyway. So, yeah, it didn't really matter. We just, we got, just got battered, didn't we? Uh, uh, well, women, the women um, did, 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 I, did did okay as well. Um, um, Olivia gaining rating, rating Imogen gaining one, one or two, two points, points. Linda only losing a couple. Kimberly, I believe that Kim was the, the big success. Is that right? Yes, she got her woman candidate master title. Yep, yep. so Kim will come. It'll be a WCM, another one to add to the list. Uh, I, believe I believe that Emma, Emma maybe missed out by half, half a point here or something. I think um, she needs to win in round 10 to get the... Ah, uh, winning uh, round 10. And um, Linda needed to win in round 11 of WF. Ah, uh, of course, yeah. yeah. She just she, she went into a kingdom pawn ending, if I remember. Um, so, yeah, I mean, much of a muchness there. I remember that Emma's on K factor 40 there uh, for a loss, but her first Olympiads, obviously, big learning and experience for her as well. Um, let's have a look at where they, they finished. Um, I don't actually know where they finished. Oh, yes. There we go. So they were seeded 80th. Um, they finished 114th. I'm sure they'll be a little disappointed with that um, themselves. But I, I mean, it's a similar story to, to um, the, the men's team, really. They were, I think, above their seeding for the first nine rounds. They did lose to two lower rated teams the last couple of games albeit you know ones that that played well you know especially the last round they played a, i think a load of kids from hong kong which was oh was that's a horrible pairing i think it was similar to our malaysia one you see the pairing you think oh for goodness sake <laughs> give us an yeah. answer i mean i mean it's, I mean, it's the, the, the thing is some of these these um these other, these other countries as well are, are underrated, underrated but, but whenever you get that, that kind of like was it, was it east, 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 east asia, asia is that right 
yeah. Right prescription. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, Hong, Hong Kong, Kong uh, um, Chinese, Chinese Taipei, Taipei, South, South Korea. Korea. These, These places, places they seem to always be massively underrated. And um, I know that Susie also lost one in the last round to it. I mind you, that was South Africa, I think, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so the ratings can't be too too trusted. But yeah, uh, unlucky going into the final to round nine, they would have been doing really well. And then uh, just at the end, that uh, fall off it, for us, it was round 11. It just uh, went below, uh, which is a bit gutting. But okay. Um, overall, obviously, um, losers and gainers, and gainers I, guess I guess overall we lost rating, rating but you can expect this from when you play against um, uh, these players that don't have great uh, ratings um, what's, what's going, going on, on in chat 2200 for FM minister 2200 I don't think so yeah I, I think they're they're just having discussions on there was a question around if Kim needed to get to 1800 to get a WCO oh, right, right. And Has she seen eighteen hundred before? I guess not, because they recently just had the rating boosts, right? Um, but I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if you do. You need, I, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but they seem to be solving it between them in chat. So okay, okay cool. Um, so um, as long as they know what is uh, India won again uh, in the women's section, so they did the double, um, which wasn't complete as, as easy as it was in the open section because they they weren't even. Outright, outright leaders going, going into the last round. round. I think they, they had to, they had to win the last, last round match uh, to, to, clinch to clinch that. that. But again, again an absolute dominant force, force now in chess is, is, is India, uh, which is, is huge. Um, changing, changing topics then. then. Alex, just, just uh, I think we'll throw, throw this in just as a, a bit of a different one. I know it's got my team loaded in, but we do have the fancy football going on, which is probably, the I think at the moment, probably the most important part of Welsh chess chat. I don't know if you'd agree with that. Well, for now, because I'm ahead of yourself and Mr. Reese, I will say yes. Very he important. is. He's on 350 points, the bull in the China, China shop. Um, <laughs> and he's, he's, he's 16, 16 points ahead of me, uh, which is chesticles. chesticles. <laughs> 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 and yarn has got chicken tikka masala. He's on 339, but he's used his wild card. And I have a sneaking suspicion, Alex, that you might have wild carded this week. I, I'll tell you, I haven't wild carded. Okay. okay. Right, right. We'll, we'll see. see. Um, but we, but put, we put this out there. there. Congratulations, Congratulations to Gareth Yeo. So, so far, he's, he's in the lead, but that's, that's chased, chased down, down the ball, right? I mean, he's, he's not, not a million miles, miles away. away. It's, only it's only like 30, 32 oh, points yeah. for me. Can you see, Can you see the screen okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we'll close down Gareth easily. We're closing down. He hasn't got. No, it is. He's probably used something already. I bet he used his wild card. It probably. Um, so, Richard so Richard Cleveland's up there, um, Billy Rosenbaum, Steve Smith, Gary Lane, Mark Green, Greg Toschek here, 280. I don't think he's seriously playing. And then we've got some players down here. I don't think they're really taking it seriously. Ethan, Loz Cooper, Patrick Bourne, Nathan Tricky, Daniel Altman. I don't think they're actually playing it seriously, but maybe they are and they just don't know what they're doing. Uh, uh, but by all means, uh, 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 we'll, uh, we'll keep, keep this going. going and, uh, um, you know, if you, know, if you want, want to join the league now, now even you'll though you'll be behind, uh, you can do um, because um, it'll, be it'll be ready for next year then as well. Because well. uh, this is something that we definitely, definitely will keep going, going uh, uh, I should uh, imagine. Uh, so, uh, so, well, well done so far to Gareth, and we'll see how this develops over time. Right, okay. So, that's the Olympiad. We've talked about. Uh, uh, the, the tournament, tournament that happened in, in, the in the Autumn Congress. Congress. Um, um, what's, what's coming up on the calendar? calendar. Um, the grades. So let's just have a very quick look here. Now, when I clicked on these the other day, day like, they haven't actually. actually I've clicked on my name, and I was like, like "What? I'm, I'm losing ten points apparently." Um, and, it's and it's all of my Olympiad games are on. Oh yeah. All of my Olympiad games are there. And then I clicked on your name. Yeah, they're not. And I was but like, the it's been updated even today, but just not with the Olympiad Games. You kind of did you, some of them. It's you been updated more last night. But... Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so, I, I, so, so some, some have been updated, updated some haven't, uh, but, but there's, there's not really much change to the, to the overall, overall thing. thing. Um, juniors, juniors are agreeing quite, quite a lot, including Bronwyn, who we mentioned, David, who joint, joint winner, Bismuth, who's moving up in the Standings, standings and I guess, I guess Ethan from his performance at the British Championships. 
Amber and Andre, more juniors, more juniors uh, as, as well, which is good to see. To see. Who's, played Who's played the most games? games? Um, oh, could it could it still be our boy Josh McKenna? Our boy, our boy Josh, 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 Josh McKenna. Is that, <laughs> is that how, how we're describing him now? <laughs> well, I think so. He's he's even though he's not been on the stream, I feel like he's more famous than, than the three of us. Mate. Oh, oh, for sure. For sure. And, and what, uh, what me, you, and little, little black box below us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's click on played. Adam Sawa, what a ledge! I think that's, I think that's, that's, that's he played, played in the British, British didn't he? And he played in a couple of the junior events, side and side events, events I should imagine, to get, to get those numbers up. up. That's, that's a lot of games. games. So, so Tom Brown is joint with Josh McKenna on thirty-six, and then Ethan, who also played the British thirty-one, joint with John Williams on thirty-one. Jukesy in the chat, chat on 26, good, good effort. effort. And, and Alex, with your Olympiad, Olympiad games in. Well, well not all, no, you'll, you'll go up by another... So, so, oh, you've got four, four in at the moment. You played nine, nine so another five. So you got to 30. 30. 30, 30, 30 games. And then, and then um, who and then, oh, Emma's, oh, Emma's on 24. 24. Now, has her Olympiad games gone on? Yes. Oh, what? Like, one, three, and five. So she's, so she's got another, got another five games, games to go on top of that as well. As well. She wants oh, to God, she played a league match last night. She's crazy. Some people, some people love their chess. Yes, yes <laughs> she did, and she, and she beat, beat Charles Summers in 1908. Good result. Clearly, she got some confidence after the Olympics. So, so yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, beating in 1908, where you come back and you're you're rated. Well, oh, mind you, she's rated 1880 now. That True. Um. Good effort, Good effort that, that is. is. Um, but okay, but okay that's, that's the, the, the top leaders at the moment. Um, in the in the, uh, who's played the most, uh, which, which is good to see, see and uh, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, obviously, in the future, but you're, but you're gonna have to keep your own eyes, eyes on it as well because, because unfortunately, this is the uh, one of the last World Chess Chat streams. Um, and there's, and there's a couple of reasons for that, as you can tell. There's only two of us here today, and I guess the reason for that is that where do we think Yawan actually is, Alex? I mean, this isn't anything new, right? I don't think yeah. we need to comment on Yoen because he's been a part timer anyway, hasn't he? <laughs> he's probably at home just doing this, drinking some wine or something, isn't he? Yeah, yeah making some sushi or something, or something like that. Like that. Uh, um, no, but no, he's, he's just started, started a, a, a new job in teaching at the start of September. September. Um, um, and he's also got two little girls as well. As well. So, I so I should imagine, should imagine his life is very, very hectic right, right now. Um, so I will give him a little bit of an excuse built in. Um, the, the other reason is that, is that I'm also starting a new job in October, October. Um, so, so that starts, starts in a few weeks' time. time. Um, um, so, so I'm going to not be a chess coach anymore, and I'm going to go into into data, data which is good. Is good. Um, and and uh, uh, well, it means I need to focus on learning some new things, so I won't be able to to put as much effort into this and and chess in general, or at least supporting chess. And Alex, you've also got a reason as well. I have, yeah. I am going travelling for uh, something like four and a half months um, from middle of November until, I guess, back end of March next year, something like that. So, yeah, I will also be taking a bit of a break from, from chess at the same time, I guess, by, by default. But I'll be back. I'll be back one day, I'd say. I think, I think we'll, we'll all be back. Be back. I, I, don't I don't think, think it's a case that it's like, that it's like we're stopping completely. completely. Just a case that uh, well, things, well, things happen in your, your lives that could change it around. around. Where, where are you going, going Alex? I think, I think people will be interested to know where you're going, going on, your on your travels. Um, well, it's I still haven't fully planned it because I've been in Olympiad mode. And I'm kind of now in like European Club Cup mode, but I'm uh, starting to do some some planning. But I'm flying to Japan first and then going through pretty South Korea, Vietnam, um, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, <laughs> and then finishing in Singapore. <laughs> yeah, somebody <laughs> thought you were going to huge trip, trip again. again. <laughs> That'll be good. Uh, um, you, mentioned, you mentioned you mentioned there the European Club Cup. Club Cup. Um, yes. When is that? What's going, what's going on? on? Oh, that is in. Uh, it's horribly close. I think it's in about three weeks' time. And it's in Serbia. We have two Welsh teams going, which is Cardiff. And White Knights are also going. So 
Cardiff are actually the lowest ranked team in the whole tournament. So oh, really? it'll be very, very tough. But I see it as a good opportunity to take some scalps. Um, so yeah, it's seriously, seriously strong. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've never played it before. Heard a lot of good things. We've got a good group going as well. So yeah. is, is there anywhere that we can see, see the, the, the teams, teams for, that? for that? Yeah, it's on um, chess results. Uh, wait, do we have a chat in our thing? I can send you a link. Can I send uh, messages on that ninja thing? Ninja thing, maybe. Toggle, Toggle the, chats. the chats. Toggle the chat. Oh, here we go. I'm going to send a link through that. Received. Received. Right, yeah. Right, check right okay. Can you, can you see that? that? Yes, we do. Okay, okay, right. right. So, so who's so, so hang on, Super Chess, Chess Captain, Captain Ivan Sokolov. So, so this is like top, top team, team, right? So you won't play them. It's India, Olivia. Oh, oh God. God. Yukesh, Yukesh, Yukesh and Prague. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> and then, and is, then Al is Alkaloid, which, which one's Carlson's team? team? I'm not sure if Carlson's playing this time. No, no people. people. No, okay. Um, so, okay, so we've got two Welsh teams entered into this in a few weeks' time. So, I guess the games will... Will they all be live online? I don't believe so. Usually they have some live games, but it'll be like maybe 20 or 30. You're not bottom seed. There's two of us here. Well, they haven't submitted their player list yet. I think it's highly unlikely they'll be lower rated than us. Okay, so Cardiff Chess Club by Joe Fatale as the captain. And He's put a lot of work in just to get a squad together to it for it so kudos fair, fair play joe, joe. um and, and uh well they've, well, they've got a candidate master on board one <laughs> nearly <laughs> fide master, master. Um, uh, which uh is that's gonna that's gonna get you some really, some really good games, games. that is good well good luck to everybody clan david, david guy leon and zach um, um leon, leon hasn't, hasn't got a rating is is he hasn't but he's you know his welsh rating when he was here was i think 1800 or so yeah, he, he's a good player. Good. good. And who's the old Welsh team? White Knights. White Knights, White Knights yeah. Okay, okay. So Mr. Mr. Garcia. Garcia. He's leading, leading that. Mr. Yeah, Mr. I think Lern changed six from the team that went last year for them and did very well, actually. Yeah, yeah I didn't uh, Alan get some scalps? scalps? Alan got some scalps. And I think a couple of those guys, maybe John Weatherlake and Adam May, sort of got provisional CM titles. Right. right, well, good luck, good luck to, to, both to both of those teams playing in there. And if you can follow the games, I'm sure they might have it where they like kind of go up and and play, and play on, the on the live boards at some point, point surely, and then then come down. down so it might happen. But there's, but there's, there's also like I think some Benildas is an Irish team. You see here, um, Sussex Martlets as well, and Zaga is an Irish team. Um, and, and, and do, we do we have like an English teams, teams at the top? Or would yeah, Sharks, Sharks going, Green, going, Wood Green, Blackthorn, okay. Okay. White so Rose. The 4 and CL, CL kind of um, yeah. teams are going to be in, in it well. Well. as well. All right, well, well good luck with all of that as well. Um, but okay. Any other questions for, for us uh, from the chat or anything else? Um, is what I guess I'd ask. So any other comments from you, Alex? Um, no, no real comments, comments I guess. It might, might be a good, good time, time to ask your sort of um, how your chess is going to look over the next six months or so. Yeah, well, I think with starting this new job, I think maybe for the next few months it will be like kind of restricted to like local league chess, I should imagine. Um, and hopefully for NCL, um, which will be only a one weekend, is it? Is that right? Just it only one weekend. Yeah, yeah up until Christmas. Christmas, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's one in November, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so, so obviously, obviously need a, a few months to settle in, but so it's not going to be that, that, that heavy, heavy. But I'm running the Staffordshire Junior Championships on the 1st of December, December um, which is just a, a one day thing for, for, for kids in, in, um, for any, any child basically can enter. But um, doing that again, so a little bit of local organization, but, but nothing too heavy. Um, and then I should imagine that hopefully I'm planning, um, obviously maybe 4 and CL, might not play every single weekend, but 
you know, obviously, obviously in the new year, year. but then, but then I'm hoping that I re-emerge just, just as Easter comes around, around. and I kind of like just crawl, crawl out of my little den. den. Oh, oh, well, well, it's championships. Do I smell that? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, I, just, I, just, I just appear from, from somewhere. somewhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know no one wants you to win it. I know, I know nobody wants me to win it. It'll, it'll, be, it'll, it'll be horrific for all of you if I ever do win the World Championship. championship. So, so you're going you're gonna to have to play in it to stop me. Well, not you, but... but uh, <laughs> um, we've, got we've got a question in there. What was the best moment of the Olympiad? Um Good question, isn't it? Good question. I mean, I, I think, think I really, really enjoyed it. it. We had a, a really good group of, of guys, guys there. there. Let, me, Let just me just hang on and just get this. So, so, so one, one thing that I would say, say is that, that um, you, can you can check, check out um, Greg, Greg Toschek's channel, channel um, on YouTube. YouTube. He's done a big yeah, video, but a good, good photo of all of us. You can, you can see, see that. that. That's the That's team. The team. I do like that photo, actually. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic photo. photo. Um, so and so we we're, were playing football before the board pounds were out, playing football, playing basketball. Um, I think we just worked really well as a group, um, and uh, we enjoyed it for that reason, uh, I think, for me. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I think my my favourite moment would be the Olympiad. I'll go for a chess one, just, you know, even though the highlight definitely wasn't chess. Um, but I think for me, the, the game with Ethiopia, I think, because we've gone so long that 4-0 and sort of, you know, we didn't get it against Djibouti and it's kind of the target. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, my opponent blundered horribly and gave the win away. And then the match finished, you were still going, John. I was kind of looking around for our coach to see like where he was. And then I saw him, he was sort of like in one of the walkways. So I like dashed towards him and he was going, oh, you drew, you drew? And I was like, no, I won. And he was, he just went nuts. Like, he was so loud in the hall. Like, I swear, we must have disrupted so many matches celebrating, <laughs> celebrating that win. Because um, it was obvious that you were going to win a job. So yeah. yeah. Well done. Um, oh, dear. I, I, I remember when it happened, though, right? And I remember looking over going... And, and I had this mixture of emotions of... of like, I'm really, I'm really happy that he's won. won. You, you lucky spawny... spawny. What wow, on earth do you get, get these positions? Wait, right. right. I, I, I need to put it up for people, for people to see just how how fortunate, fortunate this, guy this guy is, is right? Just, just to, to the, the end, end, you know. This, this is just ridiculous, ridiculous right? right? This, this is, is how he wins games chess, of chess, right, right everybody? <laughs> this is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> horrific, you know. Look at this. He's completely disgusting. It really is, right? Right. So here we are, Olympiad. Your rating, your rating is 2025. 20, you're playing for Ethiopia with the white pieces here, here and, you're and you're like, oh, you're, you're trying, trying to grind down a three versus two, two rook and knight versus rook and bishop. When I mean, he was, was completely won back here as well, as well in this position, position with, with you know, you know your pieces, pieces all in a mess. And we'll take it back to here. And he swapped off the queenside pawns, which he shouldn't have done. And he goes knight e7, king h6. Oh, cleverest move in the world, king c6. <laughs> and, and the game, the game didn't end here. here. I don't know why it's not got the final move on the on the board. But can anybody guess what Alex played next? Can anybody give it a guess? You don't even have to get the board square right. You know, if you want to call it c six instead of the correct square, it's fine. But I just can't believe it. How do you get this? How does it always happen? Well, I need to do some calculation, right? Because he can block with a knight, so I have to work out that. Or take, or you can then take the rook and then take the knight and then yeah. get your so king back around. Good calculation there. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, I think it's, it's, I am built different. I agree with that comment in chat. But I think half of it is that I had defended kind of well to this point, right? Yes. Yeah, so you had. I think I wasn't going to lose this game if he didn't blend that. I think I was going to hold the draw. So I think I've only stolen half a point off him. But is that thing where he was trying so hard to win, he just started playing stupid moves. I mean, King C6, pointless. <laughs> it doesn't even achieve anything, right, as well. Well, I mean, worst case, I can go Rook A7 and 
and or rook b1 or move my rook anywhere it's not attacked right and even back to d no i can't go back to d7 but i'm bloody done but yeah like the fun times yeah, yeah and i, I guess for, for, for me and if you're looking for chess chess, chess wise, wise um, while, while I was quite happy with my one of my, one of my finishes with a very, very nice, nice checkmate against Mozambique, I think it has to be my game against Victor Bolligan um, as, as my highlight. Um, with, with my French defense, defense basically became legendary, legendary right? right? Even though, Even though I lost oh. a few games of it. Legendary. <laughs> didn't, you, didn't you actually play a French defense? Uh, not directly, accidentally. 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 Well, well, this is where the, 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 the fun stuff happens, and, and yeah, yeah, just doing rook takes f two here against against Victor Bolligan. It was, <laughs> it was like, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, we were getting, getting close to time trouble here at this point as well, as well. and then getting, getting the king out in the center, and you know, you know it, was it was just quite nice. nice. And I think it was around here that I missed my win here, which was was really annoying. Apparently, for some reason, queen h two is the move. That, that is actually winning black. for black, uh, uh, which, which would have been great, great. Uh, uh, but I did queen takes g2 instead, instead, so apparently that's a terrible move, move and then it just, it just didn't have enough in the attack and, and uh, uh, couldn't checkmate his king in the centre of the board and ended, and ended up having to resign, but I was just really proud of that game, I thought it was came really close and played it in the manner that I wanted to play, which was trying to beat these players rather than rather than trying to just hard out against them, which I think is the wrong way to do it. Um Right, right. Okay. okay. Well, um, yeah. yeah it's it's, uh, it's been it's been a great tournament. tournament. Uh, the Olympiads. It's been great to do the, the Welsh chess chat as well. I think probably one of the final things for me um, is that uh, the, reason uh, the reason why we do this this, this stream and, and I've done it for, for, for a long time is because um, we want to just spread the, the news of Welsh chess and make sure people know about tournaments and events that are going on. I don't think that we do enough, even still, as a group. To try and spread, spread that, that, just to communicate what is actually going on, um, just, not, not just in South, South Wales and North Wales, Wales, and then Welsh players playing across, across the world as well. So, so anything that you can actually try to do to just push, push like, like whether it be a Facebook post, post whether it be a tweet, uh, um, or, where, or X, whatever it's called now, where it just be like sending emails across to different people. Anything, anything you can do to try and just spread, spread the news of what is going on chess-wise, chess -wise, I think would massively help every single club in the area and all of the tournaments. Uh, and if we get more people playing chess, then we have more tournaments put on. We have lots of different tournaments put on. We get more arbiters trained up. We get stronger competition. Um, and we get chess clubs flourishing across uh, Wales and Welsh chess. Um, uh, back to a, a better standard, shall we say, uh, than where it is, uh, which would be positive for everybody. Uh, but, yeah, but yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And um, we will be back probably at some point, but we don't know when. Uh, we're definitely going to be take, taking a bit of a break. Any final thoughts, Alex? No, I'm all done with all done with thoughts. I'm still not properly recovered. But I guess just thank you for everyone who's watched, commented, supported us, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. And we'll we'll meet again. Do you know, I want to just echo that thing of I've not still fully recovered as well. <laughs> you know, it feels like it feels drained for these past few days. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for, for watching and um, you know, following us and, and uh, supporting the stream and telling us when things are wrong, which is usually the case, <laughs> which we're more than happy for. And taking the mick out of us as well, I think that's definitely a, a positive thing. Um, I, I like that part, probably that part the most actually. Um, um, but, but I hope to see you, see you as much in, 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 in uh, uh, real life, life shall we say, um, um, or, or, or see, see you over the board very, very soon. soon. Um, yeah, yeah, have a have great, great time, everybody. See you, see you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.